sponsor um, uh, para athletes, but they're one of the first, and um, I think in the Philippines, aside from Toyota, there's the, is that right, Mr. Barredo? Yes, Toyota and, and City, of course, and I'm very, very, very happy. Um, after, of course, Mr. Aftab, after hearing Mr. Aftab and Mr. Barredo say those words, their, their you know, opening uh, remarks, it's like, really, Wow, it's like, as I said before, I like to compete tomorrow. <laughs> I'm ready to go out there and compete. And uh, once again, I'll uh, give glory to our country. Thank you. Gerald, ikaw naman. What is, the, what is the feeling, what is going through your mind seeing that you've been competing ever since for a long time? Ano yung pakiramdam natin eh? Well, sir, uh, ano lang eh. Maraming maraming salamat talaga sa seating ako kasi eh. Uh, ako, first time ko talaga na magkaroon ng mga ganito ng ano eh. So, ano mo yun, uh, at least uh, yung haba ng parang pinagpagulan ko ay napapansin na po siya. So, thank you very much po. At uh, yun, uh, sana tuloy-tuloy lang po na supportahan po yung mga kagaya namin na uh, yun po. I know, I know we're all very excited to hear from the both of you, but I want to open the panel, of course, before we get to our questions from the audience. So I want to start first with maybe going to uh, Mike over here. So uh, Mike, uh, can you take this for me? Thank you. All right, so uh, Mike, the 2020 ASEAN Power Games is just uh, really, really a few months away. How do you feel about the chances of our Filipino athletes? Well, the preparations are underway. The, the Athletes are going to go into training in spite of all the cost challenges that we have usually. But I think that um, what we are targeting to be able to to achieve this coming Para Games is to do better than our previous games. We did. Um, we were number seven in. Sorry, yeah, we were number seven in Singapore, number five in Malaysia for the eighth and ninth editions. We're hoping to improve, at least maintain it, or if not, improve on it uh, this time around in 2020. So I hope that our athletes and coaches are uh, ready to show their wear in the coming games. And I think the Philippine Sports Commission and companies like City have been able to uh, come around to help assist and provide the, the requirements and needs of our athletes. So uh, wish them all the best. So we're going to attempt to do better than before. <laughs> not one, not first place. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, it does take some time again, so thank you very much, Mike, for answering our question. Now, I want to move on over here, of course, to Gerald. We talked about this earlier. You've been training for a very, very long time, right? Or basically all throughout your life. Kumusta naman yung preparation natin para sa ating ASEAN uh, Para Games? And how hard is it? How hard is the training? Well, the uh, preparation po namin yun is uh, with the uh, supervision of our coaches. Namin. So, like we train po kami na, uh, twice a day uh, and then five times a week. So, all the uh, ten times a week we train. So, uh, talagang uh, pospusan yung compared to sa mga uh, previous na ano, is talagang pospusan pa yung preparation natin dito para kapag uh, ito yung pagkakataon, uh, i-showcase talaga yung Kumbaga, kailangan, kailangan natin magpakita ng maganda kasi tayo ako yung mga at the magit nga ni Mike Anina, the goal is to constantly improve through your training. Now, speaking of improvement, I want to move on, of course, to Adeline beside you. So, being an athlete and representing the country is a, a very big honor. But how would you describe the challenges that are faced by our Filipino para-athletes, especially in competing in international arenas? Okay, uh, if you asked me the question 20 years ago, I would probably give you a different story. I mean, a different answer. Because um, up to 2015, before the law, uh, uh, the, before the law was passed, recognizing the efforts of uh, para athletes, Filipino para athletes, the story would always be asking for help, asking for support, and even Mr. Valedo begging for it. Actually, 
Now, it's, uh, the story now is more about being grateful for the support that we have been getting, not only from the government, but also look look at the private sector, look at city. The, the attention that the uh, city is giving us now is for me because I've seen the difference of how it was before when there was no support, there was no recognition. Perhaps it, it means more to me because I've seen how we progressed until now. And so I'm very, really, I cannot say any, uh, anything more than, than, you know, thank you. And I hope that, um, because, you see, this is not, maybe we are, the two of us, Gerald and I, are the, the city, well, the para athletes representing, uh, I mean, we are representing the para athletes here in, at the city, no? So in the, this is not just about us, but this is about the whole para sports. Uh, in the Philippines, and um, I think that um, we are all very grateful, and we hope that with the training that we are we are doing, we hope to show city and the Filipino people that we deserve the attention that you're giving us and the support. It was really nice to hear your uh, thankfulness, your gratefulness, and your enthusiasm. I can listen to you talk the entire day about the process of everything you went through, but I want to talk now, of course, to Aftab. Now, Aftab, we know you guys have been supporting, of course, our great para-athletes. Now, how important is city support for our Paralympic movement to your employees? How important is it to them? I think it's a very, very, very critical initiative for the firm and a great opportunity for the employees. I think we collectively share the IPC values of determination, inspiration, courage, and equality. And this is an opportunity for all of us, every one of my colleagues and myself, to get involved, to provide support, to create a movement, and be able to demonstrate that people with disabilities can be champions. And they deserve to be acknowledged, and their greatness needs to be acknowledged. Because they're people who have overcome great challenges. They've shown heart, puso, hard work, commitment, and they have come out at the other end as winners. And Parasports is a great way to demonstrate that nothing can hold you back if you put your heart and mind to it. After that, it's a very strong message. Again, please, at least over there. I want to give a round of applause for that very strong message. Especially in the Philippines, more than ever, I believe that is the case. Through sports, we're able to ascend certain situations, we're able to move forward in our life, whether it's education or through international competition. Now, I move on to Lisa over here. City is showing its great support today for two of our nation's top parent athletes. Can you share more about what exactly City is supporting and how? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, well, firstly, as Aftab said, this is so important to our employees. We have 8,000 employees here at City Philippines. And through the year, they've already been so excited and enthusiastic. Um, we did a walk, uh, Lakat Para Atleta, that was uh, co-hosted with uh, the PPC, and we had 800 employees uh, attend that. Today, we have an employee rally, and really it's more about, um, you know, that we share that mission um, to bring attention to Paralympic sport, right? And it's by the greatness of Adlin and Gerald that we want to bring not just our employees, but everybody to be more aware and to actually go in and support, attend the, the para games. It's gonna be incredible. So next steps is we're launching the campaign today and you'll see it on um, our billboards. We have billboards throughout Metro Manila. We also have um, on digital channels such as our Facebook page, websites, you'll see that. Uh, please like our Facebook page when you see the campaign come out. We really need your support of the media and everybody else. Um, and then for the ASEAN Para Games, uh, we are looking forward to coming in as an official sponsor of the ASEAN Para Games. You'll hear more about that. Um, and of course, we will be there in person to support 
our para athletes in the various locations, as Mike said, and all the way into Tokyo 2020 for the Paralympics. This is a global sponsorship, so all of our city um, colleagues from around the world will be there to support our Paralympians all the way through to Tokyo 2020 and beyond. All right, go ahead. Yeah. And Mike, I hope you don't view this as being disrespectful, but my prediction is a little more optimistic than yours. <laughs> I think we're going to be number one. Yeah. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Let me tell you why. Seven golds plus gold at the other end too. Good job. We have enough gold to inspire, motivate, and encourage, and give people that inner strength and that hope. Right, that you have to draw down on in that last minute, that last second before you cross the finishing line or you pump that extra 10 pounds or 10 kilos. Right? I think there is enough motivation, enough Muso in play out here to motivate and encourage the team to go above and beyond and take truly deep down to come up not three notches or two notches but go all the way to the top. After I think they agree with you. They're both nodding their heads. So yes, they're both smiling. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure though. No pressure. But uh, of course, we'd like to move on to open the floor to some questions from the audience, our friends from the media. We have the time. We have time for a couple of questions. So for those who do want to raise any questions, please raise your hand, and I will walk the mic towards you. Hands up. Anybody here with any questions in particular? All right, otherwise you can schedule your own individual, I think individual interviews on the site after we have this presentation. So how about a round of applause again for Mike, after Lisa, of course, and our stars of the show, we have Gerald and Adeline today. Thank you all again for joining us, but before you go, we'd like to invite our friends from the media to join us upstairs at the basketball court of Treston International College as city employees give a warm welcome to Team City Para-Athletes. So we also have a wheelchair basketball exhibition game to be participated in by the Philippine Paralympic basketball team. So we invite all of you to go upstairs and of course enjoy, try and maybe shoot a bunch of hoops with us. Again, a round of applause for everybody here. <laughs>